Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will explain about magnification and resolution. I will also show you a few questions that you will normally find in the exam related to this topic. Magnification is the number of times larger an image is than the real size of the object. In other words, it is a measurement of how much an object is enlarged in the image. The magnification is calculated by observed size of the image divided by the actual size. Let's use a few examples to understand this. Let's say you are given a diagram which shows an animal cell. The actual diameter of the cell from X to Y is 7.5 micrometer. You are required to calculate the magnification of the image. Firstly, measure the diameter of the cell on the diagram. It is 65 millimeter. Convert it into micrometer. Then, divide it with 7.5 micrometer. You will find out that the magnification of the image is about 8,667 times. Bear in mind that in the calculation, the unit you use for the image size and the actual size has to be the same. That is why I have converted the unit from millimeter to micrometer. Sometimes, you might be given a diagram or a photomicrograph with a scale bar. In this example, you have a diagram of a plant cell. You are required to calculate how much the cell has been magnified in the image. In this case, you just have to measure the image size of the scale bar. Then, divide it with the actual length it represents. You will be able to find out the magnification of the picture without having to measure the cell. In the third example, you are given a diagram of the cell. The magnification of the diagram is stated in the picture. You are required to calculate the actual size of the nucleus. What you have to do is, measure the image size of the nucleus. Then, put the values into the formula. Rearrange the formula, and then you will be able to get the actual size of the nucleus. In the next scenario, you have to use an eyepiece graticule to measure a cell viewed under a microscope. An eyepiece graticule does not have an actual measurement, so you have to first calibrate it by using a stage micrometer. According to the question, the smallest division on the stage micrometer is 0.1 mm. Since 40 of the divisions on the eyepiece graticule is equal to 0.1 mm, each of the division is 0.0025 mm or 2.5 micrometer. Then, by referring to the diagram, you can see that the cell is equivalent to 78 divisions of the eyepiece graticule. Since each division is 2.5 micrometer, 78 of the divisions are 195 micrometer. This is the length of the cell. Resolution is defined as the ability to distinguish between two objects very close to each other. It means the higher the resolution of an image, the greater the details can be seen. In terms of the microscope, the resolution is determined by the source of the wavelength it uses. The limit of resolution of a microscope is about half the wavelength of the radiation used to view the specimen. For example, the light microscope uses visible light as the source of the wavelength. The shortest wavelength in the visible light is 400 nanometer. So, the best resolution can be obtained by using a light microscope is 400 nanometer divided by 2, which is 200 nanometer. Any structure which is smaller than 200 nanometer cannot be seen under the light microscope. The electron microscope uses electron beam as the source of radiation. The electron has a wavelength of 1 nanometer. So, the resolution of an electron microscope is 1 nanometer divided by 2, which is 0.5 nanometer. Structures which are as small as 0.5 nanometer can be observed under the electron microscope. The theory behind this has to do with the interference of the wavelength with the structures you want to observe. Let's say you are trying to view a structure which is 100 nanometer. 
when you use the light microscope, due to the large wavelength of visible light, there is no interference between the wavelength and the structure. So, you can't see them under the microscope. But when you use an electron microscope to view it, due to the short wavelength of electron beam, the structures can interfere with the wavelength. So, it can be seen under the electron microscope. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.